Hi, right, question. Why would you want to connect a garden hose into an in-ground irrigation system? Well, uh, a couple reasons. Uh, I can tell you why I'm going to do it is we just had pool construction done and one of our whole zones, actually multiple zones, about three zones have been completely destroyed, right? Uh, uh, the PVC pipes were going right where they dug the pool and so um, we're going to have to rebuild our irrigation system. However, we discovered that one zone that runs out front is still in pretty good shape and uh, I wanted to be able to test it out without running new PVC pipes. So, let's see if we can get a garden hose to connect onto the PVC pipe and uh, test our system. And the answer is yes, you can do that. There's a couple different adapters you can use uh, and I'll show you uh, exactly how I did it and maybe this can help you out as well. Um, this is also handy if you're doing some other type of DIY irrigation or you want to do a flower bed um, and just run it right off of your hose instead of your central uh, central uh, irrigation system. Just went into the Home Depot. I've got two different size pipes. So this is a thin wall pipe. Okay, and that does fit onto there. The idea, what I want to do is I want to hook this up to the hose and then test this in here and then this one fits on uh, this wider gauge. Okay, so glue, glue and then put that on there and that one just glues right on and then I can put the hose on it and test it out. So let me show you uh, real quick. Here's here's a, a bird's eye view of what I'm working with. I've already glued these two pieces on. Um, let's see, let me pull this off of there. Okay. So what you can see is I've, I've glued this one on. Okay, this is my smaller pipe. Um, Three quarter inch and this is um, this is a one inch I just bought these the other day at Home Depot and this I had to get a separate adapter so I got one adapter which I glued on here and then it ends up with a male uh, screw down point which is where I attach the separate hose adapter here so I have two different zones and I have the ability now to take my regular garden hose and connect it up right here this way that way to tighten up so garden hose fits right on there and now i can test this system okay we're ready on this end ho ho one's poking on right here there's one over there Uh-oh. Is that it? It's definitely not getting that one over there. Line, I think, too. So this other one's the bigger line. So this might be more interesting. All right, let's try the other zone. <laughs> We're trying. Where's one at? Oh, that one, okay. Hey, there's one. They're barely able to go, huh? All right. Yeah, this one's already marked. See, they all seem like they're leaking quite a bit too, just yeah. from the bases. You know, again, just some basic maintenance on them. Yeah. 
but there's nothing over in this corner here. This area here is sucking wind. So there's just this one here, and then this one here. Well, but that's good though. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four running. And then plus two, plus two from the other one. So that's six, you know, that's six sprinklers right there. <sighs> Irrigation um, plugged into my hose and um, able to get two zones up and running, basically. Uh, so the whole front, front part of the yard will be covered. Um, so all I gotta do now, I say all. <laughs> But we'll be looking at a project here, but those are those are what we're talking about up there. Uh, we've got the hose going in, so we have to dig a trench line here. The old trench line went straight across that way and went right where the pool now is. So instead, we're going to reroute and rebuild this line, right? To tap into the existing lines that go out to the front guard irrigation. And we will trench step that way, trench, trench down that way, and then we'll cut in there, we'll go around the, the uh, front or the back of the cage there, and then we'll go up around the house on that side by the fence, and then under the fence, and that'll tie back into our controller, or our, uh, our box, irrigation box, where the solenoids are that control the water, which is all still functioning fine. Okay, so here's what we started. Kind of proof of concept. There's a very shallow trench. And as we come up here, all right, here's where we've got our three. Okay, we've got three different lines coming in right there. I've already chopped them uh, because before they went, they went this way, right? They went under the pool there. And they went down under here. And uh, now, They've been chopped, and I've got one, two, three available um, that I can tap into. So originally, I was over here looking at them, and again, you can see all three. They might go right underneath the fence, and on the other side of the fence, uh, there's one sprinkler system there, one sprinkler head there, and then uh, out there by that downspout is where the controllers are. This is what we're working with. We've got uh, one heading out that way. We've got a second one, which is also taking a turn towards the backyard. I've got this one also going out to the backyard. So that's three, three zones heading off to the backyard. And then I got one that's going both front and back. And then I've got one. That's going just to the front yard. Okay, so five zones. It's all good. Here's my my box, which is an absolute mess. I'm gonna clean this out, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, five solenoids, and then one, two, three, four, five pipes coming in. Backflow here. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, bottom line, this is a low cost solution to connect a garden hose to any PVC pipe for a DIY project.